All right, everybody, I am back with a quick update in regards to uh, the situation I had with the uh, death threats and the whole Twitter issue that I had. And I'm going to let you guys know right off the bat, I am utterly tired and exhausted because of this situation. I have been dealing with this whole thing since Wednesday of last week, and I am done. And this is going to be the last video that I'm posting on this um, because I'm just I'm ready to move on. Um, first off, there were a bunch of people and a, a couple of groups on Twitter who seem to think that this is some kind of a hoax, um, that I fabricated this, that the whole FBI story was fake, and it most certainly is not. And I find it disgusting that my, fi my family was terrorized by this. Uh, my wife couldn't sleep. Uh, my kids were scared, and um, I had to stay on top of this for several days. And it's disgusting to me that there are people out there just saying it didn't happen, that I made it up to boost my channel. How was this going to boost my channel? For, for, for the last five days, I have been pulled away from the stuff that I would normally do on this channel that get way more views than this freaking situation that I'm, I've been having to deal with. So how freaking dare you? How dare you? It's disgusting. Uh, I had to block a couple of people. Now, I am going to show you guys two things here, and this is why I'm done with this. I have nothing to prove to you guys on Twitter and on YouTube that don't like me, stop watching my stuff. You don't like me, don't follow me. Don't comment on my Twitter stuff. Just don't do it. Okay? I've had it. You're going to get blocked. It's complete and utter nonsense. People are saying there are women who are terrorized for so long and can't get law enforcement to do stuff. You have to understand that there's a difference between local and cyber crimes. Local stuff has to be done locally, and they move much slower. The cyber stuff, the FBI could jump in right away they knew who this person was. They were able to locate them within seconds, okay? So I don't want to hear this stuff of, oh, it can't be true because this, this, or this. And it happened. I'm going to show you two things that I put together here so that I could share. I can't share stuff from the FBI. I can't reveal who these people are, okay? But I'm going to show you the first, e or not email, but voicemail message that I received Friday morning. And and this was the second time that they had called, and I let it go to voicemail because I didn't know who it was because it was one state away from where this person was located, and I didn't know what was going on. And it was after I got the the, the this message that I I actually called them. So let's take a look at that transcript. So here is a transcript. I took it directly from my phone, and I blocked out the personal information here. You can see it was a. 19 second message. It came on Friday the 16th at 7.26 a.m. Like I said, I did this report like at 11 o'clock the night before, and by 7.30 my time, they were calling me. And it said, hey, this is, I'm not going to tell you the person was, with the FBI in the state that they were calling from. Uh, they had received my report last night. Anyway, we've been working on this, and I just got a few questions. If you can give me a call, if you can give me a call number, and he left the number twice and said, thank you. Okay, I'm not showing you the personal information, but this came directly from my phone. Okay, This is when I finally called them back and we had that conversation. And they told me it was going to happen. And in fact, the FBI called me again last night. And I'll talk about that at the end of this video. But I have one other thing to show you guys here, which is a, it's a, um, it's an email. And this was the email that I sent off to them after the conversation I had with them here. And here it is. And again, I have blocked out the important stuff. Uh, this was from me, sent at Friday, 10.03 a.m. This is after I talked to the FBI. They told me to email them. And I said, thanks for reaching out. Here are all of the Twitter posts. They look like duplicates, but they were photos he kept posting, reposting over and over again. It also came to mind that for months, another person has been messing with me, and I ignored him. 
He let me know exactly who he is. He also called me, sent me messages, and spammed my business accounts for the last three months. No direct threats, though. I gave the name, the email address to that individual, and I said, let me know if you have any other questions. I also have the emails and texts. And you can see that it went to at FBI.gov. Now, we have to talk about this here for a minute, okay? Even after I posted that on freaking Twitter, people said, I fabricated that, that I'm, I'm this uh, creator on YouTube, and I could have just put that stuff together in a few minutes. Do you really think I'm taking the time to do that? Like, freaking seriously. Like, I've got nothing else better to do. This whole freaking situation took me away from everything. It took me away from my business. It took me away from a weekend I was supposed to spend with family. It took me away from freaking everything. And you think I freaking freaking fabricated this crap. Really? Really? I showed you what I can show you. I can't show you anything else. If you don't believe me at this point, that's on you. It's white noise. As the agent told me yesterday, they don't want their identities revealed out. They know I'm a, a YouTube, uh, uh, you know, uh, I've got my, uh, I'm a YouTuber out here, and they don't want this information out there, their, their personal information. Because in the past, people have sent their personal information out. They don't want it out there. And I'm not going to put it out there. Do you really think these two FBI agents that I talk to are going to claim to be FBI agents? knowing that that's a federal offense, and use an FBI.gov email address so that they can get sent to prison? Two different people? Really? 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 Think about it for a minute, okay? This situation was ugly. It has freaking worn me out. I'm not going anywhere. But this took me away from a bunch of videos I've could have done for the last five days that would have way more views, way more views. So how is this helping my channel? All you geniuses and know-it-alls out there who think you got it all figured out, how in the world does this help my channel? How? Answer me that. Now, the FBI called me yesterday to give me some more information. I found out more about the individual who did this, and they told me what next steps could be. They, They said they would be remiss if they didn't call me back to let me know that I could file. It's not a restraining order. It's a protective order from this individual even contacting us. Now, I'm going to have to get a hold of my local police department because I asked them, I said, I would, I will probably do that as long as my information is not given to this individual, my personal information, like my address and other things. And so I, I just don't want this individual to know where I'm located. And they said they can't guarantee that, that that's every, every state has a different order of protection, the rules, because he would have to be served and I would have to be served. And it, it's this whole big ordeal. And I'm probably just going to let it go because this person has not done anything since this situation happened last week. I found out that this individual is probably in their 40s and is um, not in the best of shape. Let's put it that way, uh, that he's got some physical ailments, and my guess, and this is all speculation on my part, is that this is somebody who's who probably needs to get help. Uh, they they probably are getting disability and don't have a job and have nothing better to do. Didn't like my takes and decided to try and terrorize me, and I find it sad. I really do. I find it sad that they're willing to ruin their life over this and to terrorize my family over this, for what? For what? Because I like the Snyderverse and they don't, or they like James Gunn and I don't? Why? Why? So this is the last time I'm going to be posting on this. But I did. I had another 20-minute conversation with the FBI yesterday, so they told me what the next steps could be and what my options are. And now it's going to be up to me to go to my local police department and take care of it here because, like I said, I I could still have them send out an arrest warrant, have that person extradited back here to where I live. But I I don't think I'm going to go that route, guys. I'm just going to let this person – it sounds to me like they've got a lot of stuff they have to deal with on their own, and and that's enough. Hopefully they learn their lesson. They're on the FBI's radar at this stage. They're on their local police department's radar and they're on the radar of my police department. Like, all this information has now been shared, 
and it, it's it's over at this stage. And so I'm not going to be talking about it after this video. And it's just anybody who sits there and says that this is fraud or stuff, you're getting blocked immediately. I'm just I'm just done with it. Guys, it's freaking nonsense. You guys, you know it all's out there who think you have it all figured out. You don't. You are the guys that have no nothing else to do, have nothing better to do than get online and sit there and go after people like me and think you have it all figured out. Well, you don't. And you're making yourself look extremely ignorant and extremely stupid. And it's just time to block people like that. I just don't have time for it. With everything I have going on, for everything that I do, I just don't have time for it. And I encourage everybody who comes across these individuals to do the same thing. Just block them. Just ignore them at this stage. It's not worth the time and the effort to even respond to them. I just don't have the time for it. I hope to have my DC update sometime today. Like, I got a crap ton of stuff to go over. I'm just tired, guys. I'm exhausted. This situation took so much out of me. The things that I had to do to lock things down and, and get to this point, I'm tired. I am freaking tired tired. So my channel's not going anywhere. I'm going to continue to do the stuff I do and get back into the swing of it this week. But I really need, I think I'm going to take the rest of today to just recoup. I'm, I'm exhausted. And shame for, on all you guys who sit there and do what you do just to do it, just to be terrorists. Just knock it off. Go find something else to do. Do some, There's mother, m many other places you could be to go and do good in the world rather than sit there and try to put down people who are trying to do what they do on YouTube. Like, seriously, it's time to get a life and get off of Twitter and get off of YouTube and go do something. Go do something better. Seriously. All right, guys, there's my update for the day. I wanted to get this out there, but I'm done for right now. I'll be back tomorrow with a formal DC update. Uh, in the meantime, I appreciate all the support because by far... 99% of people came to my defense. Even those who don't like me came to my defense. And I'm eternally grateful for that. Uh, that nobody should have to go what I went through. Nobody should. It's absolutely ridiculous. And so uh, hopefully this is the end of it. I do appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next video.